Turn on the strip light. Okay, turning the strip light on. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, we're here to talk about five reasons to buy one of these Google Home Mini devices. There are four different colors on the market today, and so what I'm going to do is walk you through what I believe are the top five reasons to go out and buy one of these. Reason number one is simply put the Google Assistant. Now the Google Assistant is what's on board here with your Google Home Mini. It's the device or it's the software that basically powers the entire device. From things like search, finance, news, translations, definitions, all of those functions for going out and connecting to Google's other services, they're all there. So you can ask about all of those things. Of course, you can go out and you can ask the Google Assistant to play you music, start video on Chromecast uh, enabled devices. What's the Google stock price? As of 3.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time today, Alphabet Inc. Class A shares are trading at $1,070 a share. What's the latest news from CBC? Here's the latest news. From CBC News, hourly edition, at noon today. From CBC News, the world this hour. I'm talking. Play Foo Fighters. Okay, here's Foo Fighters on Google Play Music. You have all that capability as well, but just those basic functions are so, so powerful. And with continued conversations, you can start a conversation and continue down the path of getting more and more information. So you can ask about an actor, an actress, whatever you'd like, and then continue to ask questions about that without having to wake up the device every time with the statement, hey Google. Who is Scarlett Johansson? According to Wikipedia, Scarlett Ingrid Johansson is an American actress and singer. How old is she? She's 33 years old. Is she married? Scarlett Johansson was married to Roman Doriac and Ryan Reynolds. That's really annoying. I'm sorry, how can I help you? Now, not only all of that, but you can connect to your calendar and we have tutorials here on how to do that. You can manage your calendar in a lot of ways through the Google Assistant. You can turn on alarms, manage lists, and the list functionality is getting better. Now, the second thing on my list is called Google Duplex and it's a part of the Google Assistant, but the reason I'm breaking it out is because simply put, it's going to change the world in 2019. Machines will talk to machines either late in 2019 or early 2020, and what we've already seen from Google Duplex is the ability to make phone calls and make reservations for things like hair appointments or restaurant uh, reservations. So those capabilities are already there and they're coming Coming to this device very soon. Now on top of that, what I am sure we are going to see, if it's not late 2019, it'll be early 2020, the ability for businesses to utilize the same technology and basically handle that reservation. So what I'm telling you is Google Duplex is going to change the world and there is no one who can catch up on this specific functionality, nobody has things like the Google business listings on Google Maps. Nobody else has that capability and we're seeing the integration pieces already coming in and all of that is going to be available here. Now me being in Canada, what I'll tell you is I had some initial struggles with getting all of the functionality out there that the US was getting in terms of my Google Home and my Google Home Mini devices. But what I'll tell you is Google is the furthest along if you're in a country outside of the US. There's nobody else even close to what this device can accomplish outside of the US. Not only that, but here on our channel, we actually have a couple hacks, a couple tips and tricks to get you to a point where your device thinks you're in the US and therefore acts like that and therefore you have access to most if not all of the newest features from Google. So even though Google has been 
you know, and it's frustrated a lot of people. They've been relatively slow to what people want. They're still way ahead of the game and are your best bet if you're outside of the U.S. I kind of can't believe that I'm at number four here and we're just talking about smart home control. And the reason for that is plain and simple. The Google Home Mini is so much more than just home control. Now, what it does do in home control, it does very well. And now this isn't an exhaustive list by any means, but let me go through just a little bit of what's possible with a Google Home Mini. You can control your door lock, you can control your doorbell, your garage door, your appliances, your lights, your your light switches and your bulbs in in your home. You can also control the outlets and I now have a device here in my home that I can control my window shades. There is really no limit to what you can control now with the amount of makers and, and builders of smart home equipment and their instant want to interact and integrate with the Google Home Mini and the Google Assistant. Turn on socket. Okay, turning on the phone charger. Turn on the basement lamp. Sure, turning the basement lamp on. Turn the basement lamp to 50%. Sure, setting the basement lamp brightness to 50%. Tell Harmony to turn on the TV. Okay, let's get Harmony. Turning on TV. The fifth reason to go get a Google Home Mini here is quite simple. That's $50 US. And I think if you go back five years and you consider what you would, ha would have gotten for $50 in, in that timeline, in terms of a speaker, you would have probably got a average Bluetooth speaker that would have sounded pretty good. It would have had Bluetooth capability and you likely would have been able to trigger an alarm and all of that would have been managed off of a strange application that probably died three years ago. Now, when we're talking about a Google Home Mini, Google has continually updated this device. So when I first bought this, when the first Coral version of this device came out, it had probably 70% of the features it has today, probably half of the smart home capability it has today, and I got that all for $50. Google has also shown the willingness to stick with this platform. They haven't come out and released 100 new devices to get you to go and upgrade all of your Google Home Minis. They're staying within this platform and with this product because they know they have a good product and they can continue to upgrade it and get more people to purchase them. So for $50, you get everything that I've talked about today. And again, if you compare it to five years ago, this isn't even close. This is so much better than what you would have gotten and all you need in your home is Wi-Fi and a smartphone. So once you have those two things, this is an incredible amount of value for $50 US. All right, now down below, there are links to these devices to go ahead and purchase yourself a Google Home Mini. And because we're in the Christmas season, we're close to Black Friday, there are going to be tons of deals out there. In fact, in one of my recent videos, I told people about if you go and you sign up for Spotify, which does work with this device, then you will get a Google Home Mini until the end of the year if you're in the US. So there's another reason to go and get a Google Home Mini actually for free. So there you have it guys, those are my five top reasons to go out and purchase a Google Home Mini this year. And really, you know what, what I'd like to hear is what you guys really find value in your Google Home Mini, or if you have a competing product, of course, there's the Amazon Echo Dot out there that is the direct competitor. You think there's a reason that that device is better than this and that it works for more people, go ahead, leave that down below. I love having that banter, that conversation with uh, my viewers and subscribers. So of course, thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time.